hi everyone welcome back today in this video we are going to understand what is this accrual concept that we have in accounting and what is the logic behind this see it's really simple what this concept says is that whatever that has happened in your business whatever that has taken place just record that in the accounting books you will not see whether the cash flow behind the transaction has happened or not no no, no. you will not see the cash flow you will just see whether the transaction has taken place or not if it has then you will just record that in the accounting books. That's all the accrual concept says. See the meaning over here? Under accrual concept, the effects of transactions and events are recognized as they occur, as they happen, as they take place, and not when cash is received or paid behind that transaction or event. You will not see the cash flow. You will only see whether the transaction or event has taken place or not. Is that clear? Yes. So that means the revenues, the incomes are recognized as in when they are earned, when you will invoice your customer and expenses are recognized as in when they are incurred. What does this mean? See, it's really simple. Let's take an example. Let's say you have a flat. Okay. And you're paying the rent at the end of the month. Let's say 31st came. Yeah. The end of the month came and you did not pay the rent. So what does that mean? that means you have incurred an expense rent expense isn't it you have taken the benefit of that flat for the one month yeah you have used that flat and you have taken the benefit and now you are supposed to pay the rent but let's say you're not paying it you don't have money so what you will do what you will do in accounting in accounting you will record that transaction you will debit the rent account because you have incurred an expense you have consumed the benefit you have taken the benefit okay so what would be the entry then General entry, rent account debit, expense has been incurred, you will take the amount. To what? You haven't paid anything. So a liability has to be recognized. Rent account debit to outstanding rent. Okay, a liability account needs to be recognized. You haven't paid anything, right? So that's what. Or you can also say rent account debit to landlord account. Yeah, a payable you are recognizing, fine? So that's how you will do regarding that. Now, of course, you understood how you have to do this yeah you just have to recognize things as and when they happen fine and of course you have to record them in the financial statement isn't it yes see here and they are recorded in the accounting records and reported in financial statements of the periods to which they relate this is very important because because of accrual concept you know what happens we have adjusting entries, something called as adjusting entries, which we will discuss in a separate video. Yeah? Accruals and prepayments, you also call it. Yeah, accruals and deferrals. Fine. So we'll discuss that later. So that's what accrual concept says. What it says? It says that whatever that has happened, just record that in the accounting records. And then they will be reflected in the financial statement. Now, in which financial statements and how? That we'll discuss later. Fine. What will go to profit and loss? What will go to balance sheet? Leave that. Fine then let's see one example over here see revenue example example record revenue when you invoice the customer rather than when the customer pays you see this is you know example of accrual concept being followed what they're saying they're saying that you have to record the revenue as and when it is earned not when the customer pays you the money no no, no. see here on 1st january let's say you sold goods to mr nikhil on credit worth five thousand rupees yeah mr nikhil didn't pay you anything yeah, he promised to pay you in future, right? So Mr. Nickel is your asset. You have to receive money from Mr. Nickel and you have made sales. Yeah, sales means what? Revenue, right? So the entry would be what? The general entry, Nickel account debit to sales. You will not wait till Nickel pays you the money. No, no, no. You will immediately do the accounting of this transaction because this has taken place. You will immediately do the recording. What recording? Nickel account debit 5,000. I have debited the nickel account yeah receivable account you can say account receivables or you can say debtor account yeah receivables account debit to sales you have to receive money from nickel nickel is your asset future benefit is there from nickel that's why you have debited the nickel account and to sales yeah the revenue you have recognized to sale 5000 and then when you will receive the money from nickel mr nickel what you will do you will you know close this nickel account you will you know cancel the receivables account because here you recognize I have to receive money from Mr. Nickel. Receivables account debit, debtor account debit. Yeah. But when you receive the money, Nickel is no longer your asset. So you will close the Nickel account. See here, here it was debited. You will make an equal credit to cancel off Nickel account, to Nickel account. Okay. 
and you will debit the cash account because you have got money from nickel so cash account debit asset is increasing yeah cash is increasing you have to debit that like that you see so you see we record the transaction as and when it occurs not when the cash is received or paid yeah this is called as accrual basis of accounting yeah it's not just the accrual concept this is accrual basis of accounting there's also cash basis what's cash basis cash basis means you will only see the cash flow you will not see how the things have happened and all no you will only see the cash flow if cash flow has happened then only you will record the transaction if in this example if you were following the cash basis that means directly what would happen we would not pass any general entry over here no 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 general entry only general entry over here on 20th january yeah so cash basis does not show a true and proper position financial position of the business and the performance that's why we have a cruel basis a cruel concept you know which beats the cash basis all right so normally everywhere in all the businesses a cruel basis of accounting is followed not the cash basis small small businesses follow the cash basis but later as and when their size becomes a little bit big also they leave the cash basis and they jump to the accrual basis is that okay so that's all regarding the accrual concept and the accrual basis of accounting i hope you have got this that's it for this video see you in the next video bye